friends welcome back to your daily dose of battle brothers so we need to clear our travelers camp southwest of kabira lots of nomad outdoors i just noticed i've still got the kite shields equipped for everyone let's go back to heaters there's only going to be like five archers there i believe Ooh, the katal who wants to use the katal fan bone Dolls 30 to 45 as opposed to 23 to 48, 20 and 70, 20 and 70. Yeah, really? Hmm. 30 to 45. They stunned or trapped. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. I mean, I, I want to have the Katals ready to go. But I don't really need to use it just yet. Gary Beast, he needs a great sword. As soon as we get a nice big two-handed weapon, great sword, he can start using that. The lads here. Sergeant Vanda is almost hitting level 11. That's pretty good. Keep leveling the other boys. Geralt, I could really use him, I mean, as a fencer, but uh, he's already level 11. And uh, borderline, do I want to get rid of him? 47 at 160 or 42 at 130. I think that's actually superior to noble male. They're kind of amazing. Hmm. Running at us, that's nice. Outlaws, outlaws, archers. Where's the leader? I could ship, but I'm gonna wait till I can move one square forward. Then I'll do that. Uh, Tobiran, of course, is a polar army, is there? Hold. Wait for Olaf to move up there, then I can stab here. Yeah? 61%. Voltrek is one of the lower level lads. I think I want him in the line. I mean, I'm fairly certain he's level 7. So I don't want to expose him to all those uh, arrow shots as well. We'll have Tull do that, I reckon. Slow. Yeah, I can aim shot. Oh, kisses. That was stupid. I should have stayed in that line. I would have had an unobstructed shot. But in the end, it doesn't matter. I still hit the poacher. Archer. Bandit archer. Excellent. God damn it. Finish him off and try get the morale. Yeah, good. Excellent. 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 Great work so far, boys. Where's the bandit leader? Am I losing my mind? Where is he? These are all outlaws. Outlaw, outlaw. Oh, really? 74%. Lads. 64 miss. There you go. Yeah. 
fat fingers. Whoopsie. No. Oh. So close. Oh, there's the fighting spear. That's the the bandit leader. The only difference, really, you could see there is a little difference in the in the spear. That's wonderful, though. I'm so glad to get mine in the fighting spear. Assuming we get it, of course. Great job. I can move there and get that accurate shot, so we'll wait for Sandbone to move. Huh. And you go toe to toe with the boss man, bandit leader man. <laughs> oh, the dying sounds. Shouldn't be too hard to get a dog out onto that large flank to run that other lad down. On the neck turn, I imagine. Janks can't stand there too long against that fighting spear. It's gonna hit him a lot and it is gonna hurt. struggled with our long range shots in this fight. bandit leader is using but let's just assume it's worth grabbing hold them down boys hey Bentley, show up. damn dogs hey go on outside Malgrim go get him good boy Right. He's all surrounded. It's just a couple of archer boyos to take care of, and then we are done here. Well, that bugger kept on dodging, so hope he doesn't pull it off again. <laughs> exhausted here but it shouldn't really matter too much <laughs> 
So I reckon it looks like he's wearing that pretty standard southern uh, plate. That's 200. 200 body armor. But honestly, though, getting another fighting spear is just so amazing. Uh, that brings the total up to two fighting spears that we have now. So two down. Um, seven more to go. Nine, of course. So in the last episode, I was talking about wanting those spears that uh, shoot the fire. But if we're going to get fighting spears, I would definitely prefer those over the fire shooting ones. Ought to be close to a level up or two. Go. Zvine. Let's see here. Fatigue. Man, his melee defense is uh, a little concerning. He should probably be in the habit of carrying a shield if he gets caught out in melee range i don't want him to pick up any problems right level 10 bags and belts he's already got okay so student fortified mind raise morale uh rotation he hasn't got he should pick up rotation colossus nimble recover it's got to be recover for blowing on this trumpet Jero level three. I'm liking seeing these plus threes on melee attack and defense. And excellent. The iron lungs is gonna help offset the slightly lower fatigue that he has. Polar muser, uh, student, and then adrenaline. The adrenaline's gonna help him level as well. Excellent. Nomad robe. I mean, it's only 50 um, armor, but it is one to one, or, or one to 10 rather. 10 armor for one fatigue, which is really pretty damn good. A lot of the higher tier armors, you struggle to get uh, as good as that uh, ratio. Price is looking good enough that I think we can uh, liquidate. That armor attachment, I don't really care for too much. I mean, it, it lowers fatigue by an additional minus four, so I'm not happy with that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> and these spare rondel daggers. Remind me who are the higher level boys here. It's level seven, level six. Okay, Ferdinand needs levels. Jalma needs needs levels. Escort caravan to Harlingen. Uh, I kind of want to say stay in the south. Uh, and it says five days, but it isn't actually... Well, it will take quite long to get there. So it's like... Oh, oh, oh. Vander Sergeant, the grimy grave robber, enters your tent with his hands behind his back. You don't wish to delay. Madness has been brought before you much longer, so you go ahead and ask what he wants. So I've gotten word that a local baron, a wealthy man indeed, has been recently put to rest in a graveyard not far from here. I don't wish to ask other men to help, for they look at me like some sort of horrid thing, but uh, you're different. You hired me after all. <clears throat> Let me guess. You want me to help you dig up this Baron's grave? Some other time. I'm not going to, and neither are you. I'll go get my shovel. <laughs> you and Vanda stalk low through the bushes. A gangly duo of absurdity. Silhouettes murky and ruminating of dubious hijinks, even in the darkest of nights. The two of you enter the graveyard as though you were to happen about it by accident. Merrily pretending that what is to unfold next would surely not come to two strangers such as yourselves. About the graveyard are rows and rows of grey slabs and marbled statues with no faces and black iron gates that he hoard in the wind. 
Tall grass everywhere, fertilizer in abundance, flowers homegrown and others laid down from elsewhere, and some a bit of both. Pursing his lips, a grave robber turns about. He stabs his shovel into the ground and puts his fist to his hips. God damn it. Sensing something off, you ask what's wrong. I can't remember if it was that grave, that one or that one. He points to three different sites. One is the modest little stone, bleached and balded to commemorate a death. Another is gated with gothic spires. Another is but a door to a mausoleum. Do we don't have much time here. Which grave do you think it'd be? Well, the cheap motley grave would would be the gamey answer because they said a wealthy baron. Uh, the mausoleum, probably too much for a baron, so the gothic fences. Okay, so... Ugh, bloody hell. Okay, no money. I, I think I'd rather head back to Karakon for the arena. So it seems pretty obvious then, with, with the amount of undead floating around here, this ancient ruins, that there would be undead in there. But with only 2,000 gold, I want to be paid to clear it out. Do you have a cargo to Subingen? That's a nice little payment. Uh, it's a spider. Bless their learned hearts. How many? Eight webnecks. That should be easy enough, I think. We've got those fighting spears. And if we use the lads that have berserk will be good uh, so we'll use vander put fighter now he doesn't have berserk who on the front line does actually have berserk does anybody on the front line have berserk yes big hairy beast now with web next armor doesn't really help i think most of the damage just goes straight through armor so I want, I think I want the initiative and the, hmm, melee defense. Is it worth carrying a throwing net? So that's pretty damn good fatigue, even though he wears that armor. Yeah, and I mean, he doesn't have nimble, so he surely should wear his armor. And then Vander, I think, will start by throwing nets to enable the other two lads. Then he'll go to his Cold Forged Warpike. And then who else? Someone else that has Berserk. Tobirn could be a good option. 77 with a pike, but then, geez, like... How many web necks is it? I mean, it's, it's tempting to take one of the archers, actually, with a dog. But he can't take a dog, he has to take a collar. Yeah, I think what I want to do is I want to have the two lads with the fighting spears. And then uh, Rolston. With his war bow and his javelins. So you, you, and you. The uh, 57 to hit. Yes. Spacing wise. So that's, so that's almost, almost right. No, oh, really, that's... No, what?
Damn it, now I have to use fancy feet. Fuck, that's annoying. No, what? 82, missed. Good damage though. Fighting Spear is doing what they need to do. Let's see here, 45% chance to remove that. I think just rather fancy feet away and kill something. Sake. How much damage is coming here now? 15 more hit points. Okay, I think okay. Yay. Now, of course, webnecks are not that terrifying. Let's be serious. But when there's only three of you and there's eight of them, it can get pretty yikes, pretty yikes pretty quickly. What happened to... There it is. We take this delivery. Where does it want us to go to? Uh, Subingen. Hmm. Could walk up to Seastead, take a boat. I'm gonna be fighting. I don't want to be doing deliveries. Weaponsmith, I'm okay for weapons. Uh, so sulfurous rocks are used at the alchemist. Flash pots for stunning. I think fire pots, but they're a thousand gold each. I do want to start stockpiling uh, fire pots, but I don't think now is the right time. We are still looking for a nine star bro, so let's keep grinding here. At least that cost us almost nothing. Whoopsie, I oh, legitimately misclicked. Oh, damn it. But that would have been a fight versus Ifrit, which I wouldn't have really enjoyed all that much. Another fight against Nomads, I mean, why not? There's another tier 3 item on the offing there. In the offing, rather. And very, very close here for Vanda. Probably two or three more fights. Um, I don't know if there is a training grounds down here in the south. You should check those three major cities. We have a few level boys who need to keep hitting those training grounds. Shot. Really? Can I not shoot that far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, <clears throat> Wolf doesn't seem to have bow mastery just yet. There's a lot of nerds up north. How are we going to handle that? Honestly, I think just stay put. Because Swine can take this high ground, which they're going to really struggle with.
Do you like the angles I'm exposing my voice to there? Dang it. Yeah, that'll do. And then Jenks and Detail perhaps should just charge at the center. Actually, I should not have broken this. Could do it in the next turn. But I've already switched away now. 50%. Fuck it. Make sure the shield goes down. His leg muscle is awesome. That's it. Side, pierced side. Ugh. Why did I move Ralston up now? That was silly. So another Shamshir offered, that's quite nice. We do need three spare swords so that I can have, what, nine in total, but I mean, for the normal swords, and what I want to stockpile the swords for is when there are goblins charging at us, goblin infantry. Or loads and loads of die wolves. And in that situation, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to uh, repost I think Ghost is superior to the wounding ability of that sword. Good. Now Jenks can move. I, I seem to recall that a shoot bolt used to be 2 AP. But it was since nerfed to three. <laughs> Excellent work, Sanvon. Actually, D-Town probably should have put his shield up. Oh yes, the sand in the eyes. You've got to love it. There's so much I find so enraging about the sand in the eyes. The fact that so many enemies can attack and then use it and then it never misses and they can use it in all terrain and they can use it every turn and it doesn't seem to cost any fatigue. Wolf's got to move now. He's in a little bit of danger here. Give him the old rotator potato. Punch him forward and try to get into range. Yep. Okay, that's that one taken care of. If I shield bash this one, he won't go to that square. Excellent. One archer that's not accounted for, but he ends up being not an issue. 
We have lost two heater shields in this fight. The annoying. Ooh, lucky hit the head. I should not have attacked him. You know, point blank, point blank, bone arrow uh, execution. Excellent hit. <laughs> easy on the armor, boys. Easy. shot oh, annoying well Drick battle up where's your dagger dude what the hell Another Shamshir secured. Secure the Shamshir, say that ten times quickly. Secure the Shamshir. My silly sister Sally secured the Shamshir at the Shady Shore. <laughs> Is there even a world where you, when you build, like a, not like a fencer, I mean, would, would you make a, a crippling strikes Shamshir using Duelist? It would be a wounding machine. I mean, if I hadn't f this up, I could have, instead of Battleforge, I could have taken crippling strikes and then that would be 33% uh, lowered injury threshold. Plus 50 percent, so an eighty-three percent injury threshold lowering. Surely, if that rolls high, that has to be able to wound just about anything. I need to put it on the list of things to try at some point. Perhaps if I have a, a disposable bro, at some point. Right, hybrid thrower, wolf, gets the bone washer that he needs to be able to hit that back line, so that's good. This Vander hits level eleven. Excellent. Uh, fatigue and hit points are a smidge low, but this is my last chance to get plus three on melee defense and plus three on melee offense. He's only going to be rolling ones now after this. And two perks. Where is my Bannerman build? There we go. Student, fortified mind, raise morale. So quick hands and steel brow is what I need at level 11. The steel hands, definitely. Quick hands we already have. Bags and belts we already have. Polo mastery we already have. Cover we have, Nimble we have, Colossus, no rotation. Does he take rotation? I mean, all the front line have rotation. This is a, the safer option. I mean, if he's not going to have rotation, he needs to have footwork. But I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with rotation because he has decent melee defense. Whereas someone like Zvine, I think, might be better off taking footwork just to move away because he doesn't have the melee defense where he wants to be uh, in contact with someone. I think that would be quite scary for him. Southern long mail shirt with padding, 200 for 25. It's it's okay, I suppose it's okay. Just looking at the attack values on these sword lads, 60, 74, 73.
Greenskins, rampaging against Seastead. How much? That's not really a lot of money. It doesn't seem worth my time. Prices are not great. Quick bandage check on the front line. And one of these lad need to oh god shields have all been destroyed i mean the 60 durability plus shield expert he's never getting that destroyed Greenskins Yoko on, except we have good archers. And as it happens, the first Stolhoven is in the area as well to help us out. Prices ought to be pretty good around here, considering the rampaging Greenskins, and indeed they are. I'm just going to sell these long swords. I'm never using them. Whoopsie. Give me that back. Oh, that hurts. Buying that back for 500. There is that refund mod available, but that is a touch gamey, even for my taste. Come on, nine star bro. The key thing now is to not find him and then accidentally click dismiss. I feel really stupid. I should not have taken this ambition. Many young and some warriors. That really ought to be easy enough. I mean, Tull can use the fighting spear. His 16 melee accuracy is so garbage. Tull and Olaf. I mean, they'll compromise a little on damage, but if they can't hit, they can't really do shit, can they? And is there really a need to put them on the inside of the formation? I suppose so. And we could try to utilize the Katol dagger here. There's extra damage against netted targets. So Wolf could quick hands to the nets. See how it feels. Because this is 30 to 45 plus 33 more damage and ignores additional armor. So that, that would take it up to 40% armor ignore. Orkies with the high ground. position really trying to take the high ground isn't worth it because they'll just push us off it and they'll end up at the high ground i've made that mistake in the past sandvone do you want to uh, whip someone no it's not worth spending the fatigue doesn't have quick hands either i kind of actually don't want to use spear wall because it would encourage them to go to the flanks which i don't want so clearly this formation here, I need to tweak this so that these great sword lads on the outside are swapped with the tanks. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty obvious weakness now. Because obviously I'm going to disincentivize them trying to go around the flanks. I want them coming to the center.
Hold, lads. Then come. I think some of these might hit our front line this turn. There's one. Warbo's doing work. turn no I think I put the spear wall down do we go for I think axis shred some armor I'm going to taunt him, I don't want him putting his shield up. No, oh, die you son of a bitch. Lads. Chance to 69. Yep. Now wait for him to attack because then his shield will be down after those two attacks. Is he going to use split shield? No, he doesn't. for the nets to get thrown. Let's see if Waldrich can kill here. <laughs> nice, there we go. Three hits, two kills by Ralston. That's what you wanted that turn. Injured shoulder, pierced lung, so he's exhausted. Let's chop him up. Oh, you mother. That shield. Fleeing, is he? And with all this armor, I wonder if I'm not better off when I go through it. It's, it's whatever. It's whatever. Look at that. The Rondel daggers are performing beautifully. Like, it's been so hard to coordinate the debuff to get the Katal dagger damage, whereas. This rondel with killing frenzy and execution. Let's take a look here. 40 damage, 60 damage, 65 damage. I mean, that's 165 damage in three attacks. That's fucking amazing. Oh, wait, so I didn't even use execute there or death blow, which I should have. Surround bonus. Let's hope the dog doesn't get killed. Okay, 
This is a little spicy for Zvine, but at least he's got his shield out. Nice, morale break. And now I have to wait again, I can't attack. If I had the rondel, I could have just attacked. has duelist and yet this isn't what I re what I remember it being like having duelist and javelins against the orcs it's doing barely any body on, uh, any hit point damage bodies hit for four damage it seems that battleforged is almost entirely counteracting the uh, the duelist Uh, let's see, immune to being knocked back. Oh, nice one. Apparently OF is bloody scary. Yeah, so that was death blow that hit and did 48 damage to the helmet. The rondel would have just been so much better. The rondel would just sail straight through all the armor. Like that was just a tiny bit. But I suppose, well, does does that mean that death blow isn't really meant for these high armor targets like this? I suppose I should be judging it until I see it being put to use against uh, or being used by a brother who ha actually has the a completed assassin build and is actually applying the days himself. Let's go with the double rotate. Wrong person to rotate. Whoops. I'm still going to rotate Svine out though, so then he's only in contact with one of these buggers. At least in this format, I'm very unimpressed by the guitar. But I suppose he hasn't got the unhold arrow quiver just yet. <laughs> well, the lads haven't performed that well. This was a comparatively like, only like a medium-sized group of orcs, and it was pretty difficult. Loads to think about. Loads to think about. Well, I suspect once two of the polearm lads are going to be hammer lads, as I intend to do, that then's going to make things feel a whole lot better. So, Ferdinand, are you going to be a light armor boy? Yeah, you don't have fatigue to be in heavy armor. But that now means I need to change what you're wearing. Quite tempted to just get rid of Geralt.
Stats looking a little rough on Jero, not gonna lie. Hold on, lad. Let's give me the steel brow for the old survivability. Eleven for detail on the great sword. Very nice. <clears throat> a weapon spec and reach advantage. He's got weapon spec already. He needs reach advantage. What did Big Hairy Beast go for here? So it looks like the difference here is Berserk and reach advantage. So let's go for that. Tanks to the outside this time. Great sword. Uh, plus two. Fatigue is needed there. Right. I want some two handed great swords, dang it. Look at the time, 52 minutes, nice little long episode. Let's hand in this mission and call it a day. We'll call it an episode. Some thugs, a marksman, some raiders, a leader. Again, th that's a potential tier three weapon, so I am turning that down. Uh, how are the armor values looking like on the front line? Could be better. Sergeant Vander can actually sit out. Do I want all three of my archers? I reckon I do. And let's get Geralt to go. Right, thanks for watching friends and I'll see you tomorrow for your daily dose of Battle Brothers.